The Mechaber at the beginning of Reish Tzadi Vav teaches us what is called Seder Havdalah. So how, how do you do it? And he says, Yayin Bisamim Ner Havdalah. Yayin is of course Bari Priya Gefer on the wine. Bisamim, we say Bari Mine Bisamim, Ner Bari Meoriya Eish. And then we say a bracha, which is called Hal uh, Havdala. But he doesn't mention the psukim that we say before Havdala, Hinei Kel Yeshua Ti, Eftaflo Evchad, etc. But the Ramah, he does mention them. And the Ramah says, Nagula Makodim Havdala, Shosim Babayit. The Ramah is careful. And he says that when it comes to the Havdalah that we say at home, we say the Psukim, the Hinei Kel Yishuati and Kos Yishuat Asav, La Yudim Haita Ora V'Simcha, L'Siman Tov. And this is, it's a nice thing to say. It's a nice thing to say. All those Psukim are optimistic and they relate uh, uh, the good things that are going to come. They mention the good things that are going to come. So that you could say that there's a distinction to the Mechaber and the Ramor, that the Mechaber doesn't mention these Psukim, and the Ramor does mention these Psukim. But there is a further diuk, there's a further uh, 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 halachic derivative, which is in the words of the, uh, of the Ramor. The Ramor says that the minag is that when you come home and you say Havdalah, you say these extra Psukim. The implication thereby being that when you were in shul, you didn't say these psukim. Now we know that in uh, in Chutz Laaretz, outside of Eretz Yisrael, they generally do make havdalah in the Beit Knesset. Again, as we learned for Kiddush, the the issue is the people who don't have the opportunity to say havdalah in a home. They don't have the making, so to speak. So we say havdalah in shul to be uh, for their benefit. But in shul, we generally do not say those psukim. Hinei kel yishuati evtach, v'lovchad, etc., that the Ramor mentions. So it could be that the Ramor thought that was thinking about shul, and in shul you don't say those psukim. So he said that when you come home, you say the psukim. Or maybe uh, the Ramor knew of minhagim, where like Eretz Yisrael, the Minhag in Eretz Yisrael, we don't say Havdalah in Shul, but we do say Havdalah at home. And so when we come home, we say Havdalah with those, with those Psukim. It's no longer clear whether the Mechaber was talking about Seder Havdalah in the Beit HaKneset, which certainly would be the same as the Seder Havdalah for us, Ashkenazim in uh, at home or in shul. Again, like shul we say havdalah, but we don't say the psukim. At home, we always say the psukim in addition that come in addition to the havdalah.